The first part we will create is a cylinder. The cylinder represents our overall shape of a test tube. That's our goal. Create a new part. Click File, New. Select Part. If we sketched our circle on the front plane, our test tube would roll off the table. That's not the orientation we're looking for. Select the top plane for the sketch plane. Click Circle from the Sketch Toolbar. Click the origin. This represents the intersection of the X and Y axes. Drag outward and to the right. Click Smart Dimension. Click the circumference of the circle. Click a position diagonally to the right. Enter 20 for the diameter. Circles usually are measured by diameter in SOLIDWORKS. Right-click Select. You can pan and zoom with your middle mouse button to reposition the circle in the graphics window. Let's talk about a few geometric relationships. We know that twice the radius is equal to the diameter. If we solve for radius, radius is equal to the diameter divided by 2. I know the diameter of this circle. The radius is equal to 20 divided by 2. Don't reach for that calculator. The answer is 10. SOLIDWORKS calculates the diameter and radius automatically if I go to measure this circle. But it's also important to realize the value of geometry using mental math. Let's make a 3D feature. Click Features from the Sketch Toolbar. Click Extruded Boss Base. Enter 100 for the height of the cylinder. This corresponds to a 100 millimeter test tube. Click OK from the Extrude Property Manager. Press F to fit the model to the graphics window to see the complete cylinder. We get an awful lot of information back from SOLIDWORKS. If I click the face, go to Tools, then click on Measure, the result gives me the area and the perimeter of that face selected. I can tell a selected face because it is green. If I select the cylindrical face of the cylinder, I get the lateral surface area. Click anywhere in the graphics window to deselect the geometry. If I select all three faces, the top and bottom circles, and the cylindrical face, I get the total surface area of the cylinder. Let's figure out how SOLIDWORKS is calculating the total surface area. We need to know a little bit about geometry. First, area of a circle. The area of a circle is equal to pi r squared. We already calculated the radius by taking the diameter and dividing it by 2 to get 10. And 10 squared is 100. Pi can be approximated to be 3.14. Of course, you can go out with non-repeating decimals forever with pi. But for our example, let's make it approximately 3.14. What's really nice, our radius squared is 100. If we move the decimal place over by 2, we get the total area for the circle which is 314 millimeters squared. You always want to make sure you have units at the end of your answer. Let's also check out perimeter. We're going to need that too to calculate the lateral surface area. Perimeter is the distance around the circle, 2 pi times r. I have my radius, which is 10. I need a little bit more information lateral surface area. This is very common in geometry textbooks, which is the cylindrical area around our cylinder. We have the perimeter times its height, 2 pi r, which is the distance around the circle, times h. SOLIDWORKS calculates not only lateral surface area by selecting on the cylindrical face, but total surface area. For that, 
we need a little bit more math.